Let's move now to an update in the Bob Menendez scandal. Now, Bob Menendez, you'll remember, is now under criminal investigation for taking bribery money from Egypt and sources in Egypt. Of course, he sits on the Foreign Affairs Committee. To this day, at this moment, he sits on the Foreign Affairs Committee and can vote and make decisions that affect our relationship with foreign countries, including the very country that he is accused of taking bribes from. And I'm talking about like gold bars in his underwear drawer and such. Well, Bob Menendez's name is in the news yet again, and this time it's associated with Jeffrey Epstein. Here's a quick explainer laid out by the New York Post. Yeah, it's unclear whether he knew anything about it. Uh, Now, of course, you saw a reference in there to the fact that she had been photographed. This is his ex-girlfriend now being accused of being associated with Jeffrey Epstein, participating in orgies with underage women. This all part of some of the revelations that came out of the deposition that was recently released and unmasked by a federal judge in New York. You saw a reference there that she was photographed with Epstein and uh, the convicted a uh, uh, child trafficker, Ghislaine Maxwell, at Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate in 1995. Now, if you're doing the math, that was almost 30 years ago. Uh, but because Trump's name is involved, this actually might get traction. This, this actually might get coverage from the mainstream media because, God, they are desperate to tie Donald Trump to the Jeffrey Epstein thing, which is weird because there are plenty of Democrats and people from Hollywood who are legitimately already known to be directly connected to the Jeffrey Epstein thing, not tangentially, like showing up at a party 30 years ago. No, I mean, directly on the plane, on the island multiple times, Bill Clinton. And yet the media barely covers that. But boy, oh boy, do they want to have anything that involves the Trump name. Well, here you've got something that involves the Trump name. There was a party at Mar-a-Lago owned by Donald Trump almost 30 years ago, and one of the women that was there now is being named as a procurer and participant with children at orgies, and that woman is the former girlfriend of Senator Bob Menendez, who's currently under FBI investigation. Oh, by the way, I forgot one critical part. Bob Menendez is a Democrat. That might be the other reason why this story doesn't get much attention. But it's just yet another example, not just of corruption in the Democratic Party, but how it's protected and covered up by his fellow Democrats and also by the media. But of course, we repeat ourselves when we make that statement. I have to hand it to one Democrat, though, one Democrat senator, a high profile one, one of Bob Menendez's colleagues, in fact, the only Democrat in the Senate, who is a Menendez colleague, who has actually come out and condemned his behavior. And he did it yet again yesterday. Yeah, that's right. Democrat John Fetterman. They got to stop making me like this guy. Fetterman, of course, shares a border with Bob Menendez. Fetterman, the senator from Pennsylvania, and Menendez, the senator from Pennsylvania North, New Jersey. And here's what he had to say. Went to, the, went to the Senate floor today, forcefully denied the allegations against him and said the government is trying to manipulate the media, poison the jury pool. What's your thoughts? Oh, I know. Yeah, he's a victim. Yeah, he's a victim. But, but hey, I've been calling for that sleaze ball has to go. And I don't know why we you know, have to get rid of Santos uh, and we could keep somebody like him around. He accused his colleagues, I guess that would include yourself, who called on him to resign or to leave Congress 
of um, acting politically. What do you say to his accusation? No, I, I think it's I think it's my aversion to uh, gold bars in your mattress and and over half a million dollars stuffed around your house uh, and changing uh, your mind about hey which which twenty four thousand dollar watch am I gonna get? Uh, it's just strange. And now when you're polling at 4%, why are you hanging around at this point? You have no uh, future. But uh, I can't imagine why we can keep them around. You know, I got to tell you, Senator Fetterman's body double, who actually takes his place uh, because the actual John Fetterman is physically and mentally incapacitated, that body double is really starting to grow on me. Oh, is that just a, that's a false conspiracy? Remember, there was a whole thing about the body double thing. Is that not, oh, that's really John Fetterman? I, I, I don't know what's going on there, but he's making a lot of sense.